Now we're going to go through installing your automatic roof window opener for the roof window. Once you've already assembled the roof opener, attach the two small screws and clamp. That part is going to clamp over this little edge right here. And what you want to do is go down until it bumps this profile and then come back maybe a quarter of an inch. But you don't want this directly in the middle of the window or you'll interfere with your cross brace. What you want to do is put it just to the left of your cross brace. That'll be perfectly fine. Get those. Watch your spacing between this and the profile. You don't want it right up against there. Make it a quarter to a half inch away from the profile. Give those a good little snug. <clears throat> and you're going to mount up the bottom here. Open up the roof window. Match the two screws that you've threaded into the profile here. Thread on the two nuts. Again, this is just to the left of this cross brace here. Tighten those down. Now, the gash, the shock here has a screw on it. This is where you adjust how much height you want to open it when it's at maximum. There's also where you put this uh, pin in here. But here down in Texas where it's hot, we just uh, barely screw it in because we're going to get plenty of uh, travel when it's warm outside. When it uh, gets down to 70 or below, this roof window should come all the way shut. So if you have this screwed in too much, you can screw it back out, and when it's 70 or below, that'll adjust it down and shut it all the way. And that's going to be the install of your automatic roof window opener.